난 게리콜 써야지. 오, 디그럼 썼네. 좋았어. 데이비드 패터슨 써야죠. 뭐야? 왜? 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 아니. 체력 회복도 안 되는 이 선발을 왜 나한테 쓰는 거야? From 161st Street here in the Bronx, And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. But this is foul for the first strike. Cole into the windup. Here's the 0-1. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. And a good pitch there as this is swung out and missed for the first out of the ball game. Now the first pitch. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Lucky, lucky. And that brings up Javi Baez as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there. And that's out die, number die, two. Die, 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 die. So here's Pete Alonso. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. In the dirt here. Ayo. Mike on the money and he's cut down trying to take second base. So here is He'll lead things off here in the bottom. We send the other agent, send the other manager. Cinco. Julio. Julio Cupa. Half of the first. The third baseman. Miguel. Andujar. And now pitch on the way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. There's Baez. And oh, the pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Got it. Second. The left fielder. Nice, nice. Giancarlo. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, no strikes, the count. And Duhar gets his lead at first, nobody out. Oh, and that looked like the very definition oh, of the flailing there. It's even day. at one. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is yeah, where you have to also. really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Here's big Aaron Judge. Batting third, the right fielder. Aaron. He's set, here it comes. As Judge. he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Smith is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Luke Voigt. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. It swung on and missed the throw. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Two out here and a runner at second. In there at the knees. Yeah, you get to the on 0-2 uh -huh. here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that. 
second inning set to go and digging in is the big time power threat Pete Alonzo. Second inning begins with a slider that misses here it's one and oh. And that one misses badly it's ball two. Now Cole's delivery 2 0. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Ball even at two and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it. One out. So bases are empty with one out now. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. In there for strike one. You know a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball 0 0 center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. Nice and you. Beat the throw yeah. as he's got himself single. Nice yeah, nice yeah. Nice yeah. At the plate now, Dominic Smith. Off and running is Lindor. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. And they will not get oh, him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. To the plate now, Tomas Nido. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Judge is there, and he has it for the out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So now here is Jonathan VR looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Hey, this pitcher's gonna have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep yeah, breath. Yeah, Something can't keep falling yeah, behind yeah, yeah. and create traffic. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. And now here is Joey Gallo as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Joey. And that one swung out and missed 0-1. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Ah. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, ah, says the third base umpire. Filthy changeup that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. And that sinking fastball didn't sink, it stayed high. Fouled away. Ah, okay. Oh, the old classic two strike, let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Gotta believe you gotta work the corners a little bit more. Oh, fastball two, three, command two. is paramount at this level. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Joey Gallo is dealt with Gary. for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Sanchez. Gary Sanchez swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Oh, and this is swung ah. out and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela, trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Now to bat, Jeff McNeil, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Number six. 
too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And it's fouled away. Fastball ball, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a late bunt <laughs> attempt here, but he misses strike two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now, that, now to the plate, the Mets DH. J.D. Davis, two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Fouled off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's. Something new in that Anna. Oh, what's in that? Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the veteran first baseman Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony. Pitch on the way. Rizzo. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Here's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Man, if I'm on the mound right now, these guys are swinging at everything. You just want to try and paint the corners. And with a big pitch here, he'll step off and rethink things. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff. Ah. Two, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. The second baseman. So bases are empty with one gone and that'll bring up the second baseman Rugnit Odor. But right to the second baseman and that's the second out. So back to the top of the Yankee order. The Digging in, Miguel Andujar. Miguel. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Uh -huh. And that fastball yeah, is taken the, yeah. but catches the outer third. Well located I mean, fastball right yeah. there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Bit of an ill-advised swing that time as that ball got in on him. Hey, this is an He's amazing inning right door. here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. Uh, the ball and two strikes. Yeah. Strikes the count. Come on now. Racing back to Come center on, fielder. Now. Still going Dai back. Go Big dogs gotta eat. But only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake. And you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Ooh. Giancarlo Stanton now. now. Left fielder. Giancarlo. He swings and hits it foul Stanton. off to the right and out of play. Struck out in his first at bat. A 
swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And another foul ball. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Baez has a play, and that retires the side. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Javier Baez. Here's the first pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter. Pete Alonso flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Two down, no one on base. And with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Here's the 0 1. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0 2, 1 and 2, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. That's something I'm going to bring up the outfield. Aaron Judge. The right fielder. Aaron Judge. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Now it'll be Luke Voigt looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Behind 0-2 now. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair and you could have some problems. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Wow from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes but now he let him right back into this at bat. Too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3-2. Is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So two are gone now in the Yankee the half of the fourth. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Joey. Infield in the overshift Gallo. here. Now the pitch. Good swing. Ah, Just got to try and straighten that one out. Two out. Nobody on. Another one fouled off. And he's quickly behind 0-2. Ball and two strikes now. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. And he struck him out. Leading off the inning, it'll be Dominic Smith. And they could use a spark from him here. First pitch on its way. A swing and a drive sent down toward the gap. Center fielder going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Next, it'll be Tomas Nido. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve strike one. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go with a start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day and that's on the menu so far. Throw gets him two down. Aldo. Digging in the switch hitter Jonathan Villar. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, yeah, and thus so. the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Oh. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Bunt is a one on the inside corner. And he gets oh, around on there. one and hits it high and deep to straight away right. Yes. Come <laughs> Hey, I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball, but that swing right there, yeah, although in the middle the innings, could be the deciding factor. And we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done. Nice. Okay. At the plate, Brandon Nimmo. As he runs up to bunt, but can't make contact, that's strike one. You could tell he had made up his mind in the batter's box that he was taking that one with him. Great execution of a changeup. Kind of spoiled his plan right there. 1-1. One, one. It's a missed drag bun attempt for a strike. Two runs, five hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus far. Nemo with an even count of two and two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. And prior to the 2-2, two -two, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Gary Sanchez. Gary. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Good movement there, and he's not even close. One and one. That's been a great pitch for him all night. Able to push him, pull the throttle a little bit, throwing a good fastball located and mixing in that nasty changeup with good arm action. Nope. Misses, ball two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses ball four now to lead off to get the home half of the fifth underway. Next, it'll be Gio Urshela comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Well, these guys haven't had too many opportunities yet to test the running game in this one, so they could decide to put a man in motion right here. 2 0 oh now. As a look, now the pitch. Ah, Captain Sanchez aboard here at first with nobody out. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. So a runner no, at first with one out baseman. now. And into bat Anthony. next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Fifth inning. Two to one our score. Struck him out and becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. 4-1. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. 
He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Ah, tough And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. <laughs> Striding in is Miguel Andujar, trying here to plate the tying run from second. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat, so there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back on the And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the end. New inning set to get underway. And into bat next will be J.D. Davis. First pitch on the way. Here's a pop-up now. Rizzo has room in foul territory. One out. Stepping in next, Javier Baez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. Fouled away. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off. One and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Stanton. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. In there, no balls and a strike. Hey, boys, he's lucky he's getting this pitch back right here. That's normally a wipeout pitch down and away. He hung that one. It looked like he almost confused the hitter. Behind 0 and 2 now. A ball and two strikes. Just hung in there on that one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Another one sent foul. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Sanchez has it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. The left fielder, Giancarlo. Aaron Lou enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. <sighs> First pitch of the A.B. now. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Now a curveball, but he might have flown open a bit. It's one and one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. 2-2, two, two, here it is. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, 3-2. and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And it's fouled away. The next 3-2. And a good sinker there gets him ah. swinging for the first out. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Over two for him to this point. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. One out. Nobody on.
as a pitcher right there do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch he was lucky to foul that one off fouled off Mada. and it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge and he fouls this one off Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Now another one, two. This is swung on and missed for the second out. Now at the plate, Luke Voigt. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Fouled away. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. And it's fouled away. 0 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he. Seventh inning ready to roll. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now with the plate is Dominic Smith. He flew out in his last A.B. Ball grounded toward Odor at second. Reined in. I the first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Next to hit, Tomas Nido grounded out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Count even now at one and one. And it's one and two. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his know. eye level. Wow. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball. Off the Got him. Nice and that'll do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against. Everyone just stands there and watches it fly. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing, and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Now the Into the box now. Gary, Gary Sanchez fouled off. Sanchez. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Turn on top. McNeil still ranging back. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. on now and he'll take over with nobody out in any Lugo was that five five two five number seven in now Gio Urshela as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one he's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far
much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. And a changeup. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. No outs. Nobody on. High and deep down the left field line. Ah. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time. One down. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. First pitch of the A.B. now. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93 but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player after coming off a curveball the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The 0 2 once more. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Come on now. Smith is there, two down. So here's the left-handed bat of Rudnit Odor. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Nice. Oh. Reaching effort, but Anuta. it comes up empty as this is past him toward the corner. Around second now and headed for third. And they'll keep it going here as he's in the third base with a triple. Up next to the Yankees, the third baseman, Miguel. Here's Miguel Andujar now. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two seamer has a mind of its own. Here's the 1 1. Baez is there for it, and he makes the play to end the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jonathan VR as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. And now the first pitch. He'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Fouled away. Cole's ready. Here's the one two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stanton on the run. He's there and records the first down. Next up from New York, Jeff McNeil. He went deep for a two run homer in his previous at bat. Going back to that last AB, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off speed pitches. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Now that's popped up. Sanchez shading to his right makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Brandon Nimmo. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Oh, that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Darren O'Day enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Bases are empty here with two men out. Squares with two outs and gets it down. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. J.D. Davis the next to bat. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Judge is there, yeah, and makes the catch, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. The left fielder, Giancarlo. First delivery to him. As he can't catch up on a fastball to letters, and it's strike one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee, or he was sitting off speed right there. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gone. Ready now is Aaron Judge. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled off. This one, everything we could have hoped for. 3 to 2 in inning number 8. Right fielder is Ato. on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Luke Voigt. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball <laughs> runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. So it's a runner at first with two men out. Now and that that'll bring up Joey shooter. Gallo. Joey Gallo. That last day, B, when he hit the home run, that was a decent <laughs> changeup. It was down. And a rather interesting decision here is they'll put him on and move the runner into scoring position now. now Next for Sanchez. New York, Gary Sanchez. Gary. And a big at bat well, in this. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Trevor May enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Voigt on second. Gallo on at first with two down. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. Ah, okay. Fouled away. 0-2 count, the pitch. And it's fouled away. 
two down runners at first and second. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. All set to start the ninth in this one and with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. High in the air out to center field. Gallo is there and he has it for the first time. Next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Now the first pitch. Francisco Lindor tries to bunt his way on here, but it's strike one. Squares with two outs and gets it down. Throw on to first. Nice and, and finished off a three-game sweep here on home soil as this one is over. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. New York earned the victory despite only collecting four total hits. Garrett Cole is credited with the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Mark, Watney, this is Matt Vasquez. Ah, over on game, Tigo. 12시 20분, 12시 30분부터 여의 계좌할게요. 아니, 간단하게 하나 띄어도 되겠네. 
자, 오발 한 장기 뛰고 한 30분쯤, 20분에서 30분 사이에 여행이 저 2시에서 3시까지 할게요. 어. 아, 오벌도 시클 빨리 올려야 되는데. Lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. Oh, it's Why there to put it on the paw? Curly, curly. Pit exit's clear. All right, Max. We've got two laps to get the job done. Sixth place. That lap was a 39.0.
fastest lap for McRae, 36.9. Don't mock on that as well, yeah. That's the end of the session, P12. One lap to green. Line up on the outside. We've put in plenty of fuel to finish the race. Car is smoking. What is this? Oil oil? Celsius, P12. Oh, do you know? Follow car number five in the outside column.
봄에 무서워 쟤 뭐야 그러면 좀 떨어져 가야 돼. 어, 왠지로 사고가 안 나냐? 사고 미스인데 이거? 역시 한남 가고 아, 나, 씨, 발, 진짜. 와, 저렇게 치고 가냐? 아, 나, 씨. 아, 나, 저 병신 같은 새끼, 진짜. 어, 아, 난잘 피했는데. 아, 오버론, 진짜, 개 병신 같아, 진짜. 원래 오버는 이런 게임이에요. 미국 미친 놈들. 이건 짧아. 야, 그걸 그렇게 치우고 가냐? 야, 이 사고 날줄 알고 미리 안 붙었는데, 딱 제끼려는 타이밍에 사고가 나네, 앞에. 
just done a 38.2. That's a new fastest lap for McRae, 36.8. Left Car is really new in. The gap's now 1.5 seconds. Track limits, keep it between the lines. Carlo, hold your line, clear inside. Hold on. Okay. Ah, to diesel level, who does it? Is a pung to the key outside? Clear high. Oh, you look at Clear 
Behind's pitting now. Push now, the guy behind is catching. Two laps remaining. to go. Pay attention to track limits, please Max. Let's drop a key. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 11 seconds. It's over. Flag. Bring it back round. Great job. You did really well. What the fuck? Ah, you're so lucky. I'm not sure if you're going to get it. Ah, I'm so lucky. 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 I just wanted to go to the bike. Yeah, 
내가 삼립 때 뒤진 건가? 아, 나저 미친 새끼 저거. 저건 신고 해야 되겠다. 야, 이건 너무한데? 1번. 와, 이 새끼 결국 4위 했어. 아, 개 짜증난다, 진짜. 아, 얘못 봤네. 못 봤어. 오발은 이 맛이지. 이거 신입 전과했네. 아, 아깝다. 여이 계정 시청 갔다 올게요.